Longer response times and a potential hit to recruiting and training of volunteer firefighters. Yeah, that's what the Applegate Valley Fire District is facing unless a levy renewal is passed this November. NBC 5's Christine Pitawanich has more on the levy that many voters will see on their ballot next month. Christine. Craig, Natalie, you know, everyone I spoke with today expressed support for the levy, but still, Applegate fire officials are crossing their fingers for a green light to keep a 24-hour staff person on duty to respond to emergencies. This November, voters in Josephine and Jackson counties will have to make a decision whether or not to support renewing a levy for the Applegate Valley Fire District. It's intended to keep them funded over the next five years. This makes up about a third of our, really about a third of our operating funds that we, you know, that takes to run this place. Fire Chief Phyllis says if the levy isn't renewed. The 24-hour the uh, coverage out of this station would be, uh, would probably go away. And he says with such a large area to cover, losing a 24-hour staffing position would be devastating. We're a very large, geographically large district. You know, we're in both counties, uh, 181 square miles. That means if the levy fails, many people could see increased response times in an emergency. Particularly those medical calls where you know, a, a minute or two or three makes a huge difference. If the levy passes, property owners would pay 92 cents per $1,000 of assessed property value. So say you have a $300,000 home, you'd pay roughly $276 per year. It's a, it's a service that we need out here. It's, it's going to make the difference between life and death for a lot of our local residents. Without them, uh, we'd be in deep trouble. Meanwhile, the officials here at the Applegate Fire District hope to avoid trouble of their own, trying to make sure they can help people who need it and keep afloat financially. Now, as we said, the levy is up for renewal. Fire Chief Phyllis says they're asking for seven cents more than what residents are currently paying because costs are going up and that's what they need to hold up with current services. Live in the studio, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.